So if you ever search the word AI on YouTube, you might have come across a few videos about AI learning to play video games. No matter how many times I watch it, it still blows my mind. But none of them played my childhood game yet. So today I wonder, can I train an AI to play my childhood game? The game is called NS Chef, also known as Xiao Peng or Xiao Ti, which roughly translates to Little Kid Goes Downstairs. It was developed by Akihiko Kusanagi in 1996 and it took over Asia around the same time. You know a game is classic when you have to install Windows XP to play it. Let's look at the original game. The game's objective is to go down as many stairs as possible. Except these are special stairs. Stairs of death. The player has 12 hit points for life. Every time you hit a spike platform, you lose 5 hit points. When you lose all hit points, you die. Ah! When you fall off, you also die. Ah! Now we know what the game is, we just need to recreate it. The problem is I never made a game before, so I desperately googled Little Kid Goes Downstairs in Chinese. To my surprise, some genius already recreated the game in Copen. Like the wise man once said, when in doubt, Google it. Thanks to Pikachu, we have the game. But it still feels a little different from the original game. So I doubled the scale of everything because the little kid was too little. Then I adjusted the physics of the game to match the original. And most importantly, added the beautiful sound effects of the original games. Then I added the shiny life bar and the meter to indicate your record. And there are still a few things that are different from the original games and some bugs. But this video is about using AI to beat the game, not building the game. Alright, so to the next phase, how do we add AI to the game? Based on most of the AI learn something videos, most of them uses the NEAT algorithm, which stands for Neural Evolution of Augmenting Typologies. And what does that mean? I have no clue. But it's developed by Ken Stanley in UT Austin in 2002. Don't you love it when people who go to the same university as you, but they are 10,000 times smarter? Anyways, NEAT algorithm is a type of genetic algorithm. To summarize what genetic algorithm is, it's a method inspired by Darwin's evolutionary theory, which basically says, If you're awesome, your children will inherit a piece of your awesomeness. So initially I didn't know how to do all that, I just told them to go left and right randomly. It's pretty amusing to watch them shake. With the help of the coding train, I understood how to implement genetic algorithm in my code. After searching for multiple neat algorithm implementation in JavaScript, I finally found one that is easy enough for me to understand what's going on. The rough summary of what genetic algorithm does, first we need to generate a bunch of kits, and each kit will collect what he will see as input, and those input will go through neural network as if they have a brain. Then the neural network will produce an output. Then the kid will decide based on the output to go left or right or stay in the same place. When this generation of kids have died, then we compute the fitness, which is a score of how each of them did. Then based on the fitness score, a part of the kids get to have children. Then we mix them up by doing crossover. Then we mutate some of them. Then finally we generate a new batch of kids and repeat. And let's give it a few runs. It's hard to tell whose is whose kit, and also we don't know how much life the kit has. So I generated 100 random family names and gave them each a fancy life bar, and it's off to the races. At this point, the kid can see the most bottom platform horizontal and vertical position, and also his own position. But he wasn't doing so good. After 100 generation, he only got the record of 28 steps. Like most Asian parents, I have high expectation of my kids. So I adjusted his vision to where he can see the closest platform and also the platform type. And at generation 48, it got to 249 steps. 
but I think we can do even better. So I changed the kid's vision to see the distance to the closest platform's left edge and right edge. Alright, let's look at the result. So it seems like it's already doing better than the previous iteration. and they seem to get off the platform a lot quicker but it's still a lot of them just jumping off the platform and straight into their death and this Ortis family really likes to shake around So the Ortis family figure out a way to wiggle their way to the left of the platform and until they get to the very top of the screen, they jump off from the left and it's working out for them so far. So the record is 412 steps. I had a lot of fun making this video. If you want to play this game or mess with the code, all the links are in the description. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.